I am the lawyer Muhammad al-Rukun. I'm speaking to you now not to defend any of the unjustly arrested individuals, but to plead on my own behalf before the Court of Humanity. In this trial, I plead against the UAE, its regime, its judiciary, and its means of repression. I have worked in the field of human rights and am a professor of international law. I have a doctorate in the constitutional law. My membership in the International Bar Association did not help me, nor did my presidency of the Jurist Association in the Emirates. As for my detention, when I reported the disappearance of my son Rashid and my brother-in-law Abdullah, I knew that they were arrested without an official warrant. And since that time, I was also forcibly disappeared for eight months. They hid me in a place no one knew about. After that, I was charged in the well-known case UAE-94. My crime was defending the unjustly detained. The charge was attempted subversion of the ruling system and I was sentenced to 10 years imprisonment. On the 2nd of July 2013, I was plead in Arazin prison in the desert, which is one of the worst prisons in the UAE. During the trial, I was subjected to countless violations. I was denied communication with a lawyer and did not allow to defend myself. I was kept in solitary confinement in one of the secret centers of the state security department. As for torture, there were many methods. Intense lighting, subjected to loudspeakers and humiliating interrogations around the clock. I almost forgot. In 2012, I won the Al Karama Award. And in 2017, I won the Ludovic Trali International Human Rights Prize, which is given to lawyers who defend human rights. So, do you think these international organizations give it to a person who does not deserve it? Unless associating with persecuted people is a crime of the law and is held accountable. I mean the law in the UAE whose materials are disrupted to suit the whim of a security apparatus or person. In conclusion, I, Muhammad al rukun am still detained and my freedom is restricted. Be a reason to end my suffering and the hundreds of absentees unjustly, and we will not lose hope, and inevitably, the sun will shine again.